hello guys hope you are doing well during this lockdown in this video i am not going to discuss how to fix error code 10 because uh, the related video i am going to link it in this video and you can find it uh, from the linked video section so if you are using the adapter the troubleshooting steps will be slightly different and but if you are using a bluetooth connection again it will be somewhat similar but slightly different as i have mentioned so first you have to go to control panel so just open start menu type control here it is the control panel go to hardware and sounds click on devices and printers and here you can see xbox wireless adapter for windows obviously if you are using the adapter to connect it for bluetooth uh, this option you will not get under uh, control panel section so right click on it go to properties and the hardware there is again a properties button click on it and now select on change settings so here you can see a power management button make sure everything is unchecked here uh, actu what actually happens uh, is windows uh, tr sometimes turn off this device to uh, reduce power usage so if it is checked like this then there is a chance that sometime when you are using you are not using your controller the device uh, I mean the windows will turn off this device so this might cause some is uh, issues in your PC so just uncheck it click OK click OK here and close it now if you are facing any driver issues click on this PC right click on it go to manage now under device manager you will get this option human interface device this one click on it and here you have the Xbox one wireless controller since it is working fine for me there is no small triangular YOLO icon with it uh, which shows some kind of issues uh, for your PC there might be some unknown device showing here what you have to do is I'm just showing it here select it right click it and first try to update the driver click on update driver button and uh, you have to connect your PC with uh, internet of course to search automatically for drivers click on it and Windows will try to search the best suitable driver for your device online so it will take some time and once it is done the next message will appear in this window just wait for a few minutes so here you can see for my PC it is showing the best driver for your device are already installed so since it is working fine for me I don't need to do anything else on this step but say for your case there is a chance it might show that uh, there is an updated driver available for your device and you have to select the option to install this updated driver and you have to follow the next steps once updated driver are installed on your PC the problem should go away but if still it is not working for you then there is another step what you can do so again the steps are same you have to go to manage device manager say for your case this is the uh, faulty uh, device i mean the wireless controller which is not working right click on it and click on uninstall device uh, button so once you click it you will get this message xbox one wireless controller you have to uninstall it so once you uh, once you click on it uh, the I am the line I mean the option will just go away now what you have to do is restart your PC once you restart your PC the Windows will try to install the uh, suitable driver automatically this can solve your problem and if still it is not uh, solved and you are facing exactly same issues then my request is you just check the um, controller in a different PC I mean in a different laptop or desktop computer whatever whatever you um, available or accessible for you so if it is working in that PC then there is a good amount of chances something related to hardware causing issues in your particular system so you can try another thing you just go to start menu 
click on update check for windows update and make sure your windows is up to date so that if there are any outdated driver maybe directly or indirectly related with this device are not causing this issue so for my case it is updated so you can see it uh, it is okay but in your case there might be some issues related to windows update and updating your windows might solve your problem still if you are not uh, if your problem is not solved then the last option is maybe related to some hardware issues i mean some kind of faulty device so just to make sure again as i have told uh, use the same controller in a different pc to test it if it is working properly in that pc or not this is pretty much it i hope it was helpful to solve your problem if it helped please like and share this video with your friends who are facing similar issues if you have any further query make sure to put your comment in the comment section below and i will try to address your issues maybe with a separate video and finally to support my effort make sure to subscribe my channel which keeps me motivated to bring more contents thanks for watching and i will be waiting for you in the next one stay safe stay healthy